Hi. Uh, it's June. Um, anyway, I'm prepping for the long trail hike that I'm going to be doing next month. Today, I'm only hiking eight miles. I'm on the end of it now. I got two more miles back to the car. This is flat road. I was gonna do 12, but they want me to come into work. So I'm gonna do that, head back to the car, go home, take a shower and go to work. Some scheduling mix up and they want me to come in. Anyway, I will talk to you in just a second. Okay, so uh, the long trail, huh? Yeah, it's the uh, first trail before the AT. It has the same white hash marks. It was made in 1910, and uh, I'm uh, gonna try and do it in three weeks. See how that goes. I'm gonna fly in next month, July 5th, and I'm gonna fly out on the July 28th. I'm going into Burlington, Vermont and coming out of Bur Burlington, Vermont, which, but I'm going to do a southbound. So I'm going up all the way up to the Canadian border to Troy and uh, Vermont and uh, start there and then walk south across a number of mountains. One of them's Camelback. Okay, uh, if there's one thing I've learned during my long hike last year of the Appalachian Trail from Georgia to Maine, uh, I did pass out a couple of times and I do have some medical conditions. Turns out I have lung problems. I've been working on them this year. I also hurt my foot last year and I've been working on that. And uh, let's see how it goes this year. Uh, I've talked to uh, one lady up in Troy, Julie, and I'm going to try and stay with them. Once I fly into Burlington, I'm going to get a shuttle up to Troy and uh, stay with them that night. And then that's like four miles from the northern terminus and uh, go from there. Start walking north. But one thing I did remember from uh, last year is it was not really a big problem to get into any of the towns except when I got into Maine and uh, this is an older trail well established so looks like I'm going to be able to resupply on time it's just a matter of walking out walking in uh, I'm not sure how much the COVID-19 is going to affect it we'll see how it goes but I'll carry a mask with me and some hand sanitizer so I don't Try to infect anybody and vice versa hopefully but anyway right now i'm just trying to work trying to walk and get back into shape and i'll talk more about that in just a second and any gear changes that i'm going to do which there is one major one Explosion for yeah, long trail. All right, so I'm going to go over the big three first because that's one of my biggest changes. I'm going to use the same pack, which is the Mountain Laurels design ultra light pack. The only difference with these packs is they add this. 
to either make it shorter or bigger to change the uh, liter size, okay? My sleep system, I'm using this, which is a uh, 15 degree Celsius, but it's a really light sleeping bag. And I'm going to use this, which is the Ultra, the uh, Air Core Ultra. It's the biggest, widest one they got because there's a lot of shelters on the long trail. There's 50 shelters the whole way, and I'm only going to the main junction, but there's tons of them. Uh, but that, and I'm going to use this pillow with a buff. This is a wool buff on top of it, because even in July, of course, I'm going up to Canada, so if I've learned anything about those mountains, when you're at 4,000 feet, you can really get some wind coming in. But this is my big change right here. I'm going with a hammock this year. Uh, there's my hammock and my tarp and my stakes. I also have a ridge line that I'm going to incorporate into it. And I have some bungee cords because there's going to be some high wind and I don't want the tarp to tear up. So I'm going to incorporate some bungee cords into the lines so that it gives it some move. So that's my three big ones. My mountain laurel design, my cheap sleeping bag with a blow up. And that's so that I can get into the... Uh, shelters i'm also going to bring a costco blanket which i don't have here i've got it over at my brother's house and a pillow with a buff on top and then sleeping bag and this sleeping bag has a uh, bug net incorporated into it to keep the bugs off me while i'm in vermont all right so those are my big three now all the rest of this crap is Number one, my, I got, I'm got bringing four days worth of food. There's one, two, three, four suppers, one, two, three, four breakfasts, which is just some grits. And then I got some bars for snacks. Uh, I probably have a little bit too much. And then I'm gonna bring some uh, drinks to give me my electrolytes. I also have keto coffee because I love keto, but I may change that to putting it in the water, uh, a cold soak. So I'll have coffee every morning, all right? My cook system, I did change it a little bit. I, did, I am bringing a lid. This is a uh, comfort thing, all right? Since I'm not in a mad rush to get down this trail, I am bringing this. I've got a snow peak, I think, is what this is. It's, it's so new, I need to take this tag off. But I love the ones that are already incorporate a a lighter in them. Although I am bringing a lighter and that's just to start a fire if I need one. I've got my spork. I love this spork. Of course it's going to be gas and then this titanium pot. And then what I'm going to do is I have extra buffs and I take the buffs, wrap the snow peak with it because you do not want this thing to rattle the whole way down. And I'm gonna put that in there to hold it. And then I'll put some other stuff in there, whatever I need also, which is probably gonna be gloves. I'm gonna carry three types of gloves. These are just little hand gloves to go under these rain gloves, which these are just liners from uh, Z-Packs. And they're very, very light, but they go over them and it keeps the rain off you. I've got these diamonds just for a little bit extra um, warmth if I need it. And those will go in there if they're not on my hands. And then, of course, in the bag, yes. Yes, I am definitely taking one of these, which is bug net, because Vermont has plenty of bugs. As far as a first aid kit, I'm doing Leuco tape, uh, bug, and I have a Neosporin, which I'm also taking. For uh, lighting, I have this at night, which is a really lightweight bulb, and I also have my headlamp, okay? Uh, as far as my water system, I'm using a CDOT bag with a Sawyer, 
And I am actually taking these two neoprene neo Nalgene bottles because I just like the big size of them. I'm not in a big rush to get down this trail. Otherwise I would use those bottles, but I don't want to use the bottles this time. I really like Nalgene bottles. They're a little bit heavier. And again, that along with the top to my burner is my extra. Uh, I'm using wet ones to wipe my butt with. Uh, there's 50 shelters and 50 previs on this uh, trail. So that's where everything's going. It's going in those. I may have to change the wet ones. Well, I don't, uh, it's according to what happens there. Otherwise I'll just get a plastic bag and carry those out. Nasty, but that's the way it goes. As far as what I'm using for um, recording everything, I'm gonna use my phone. I have this, which is a waterproof light for night. And I'm using a tripod. I've got this battery pack, but I think I may change it in for a larger one, okay? Because I just wanna carry one, I don't wanna carry a couple of them, and I think I'll get a larger one. I do have earphones, which I will not carry this case, I'll just have the earphones. Then I have one charging cable for the battery, and I have two charging cables for my phone in case one craps out, because they notoriously crap out. And over a few weeks, they may just do it. I am carrying a watch. Okay, that's all this stuff except for, I do have a bear bag line and bag. Put a stone in here, throw it up, put it in the tree. I am going to try and carry a umbrella. I do have camp shoes. I changed my camp shoes from just puffy shoes to puffy shoes with uh, a sole so I can walk around with them without messing them up. For mud, right? I do have a puffy hat if it gets too cold at night. And I got these same underwear. I got, I'm gonna bring three pair. I'm bringing three pairs of socks, one I'm gonna be wearing, and then I'll have two, and then I have liners, and liners I'll be wearing. I will be wearing wool tops and bottoms at night. Otherwise, I'm just carrying them. And I will carry my puffy jacket, which I do not have out here. So let me go get my puffy jacket and explain to you that I am changing from, I really don't like the idea of changing from uh, a tent to a hammock, but the hammock is so comfortable. I got to try it. So on that note, there's that, and I think that's pretty much all I'm taking. All right, I think I'm weighing out at around 20 pounds with everything here without the water. And that's four days of food. So you guys, that is Pork Chops Gear List. Okay, that's a wrap on my gear video and prep video. I will also be carrying this rain jacket and I'm wearing long sleeve shirt and pants. This thing has pit zips, of course. And uh, that's it. And I'll be going solo by myself. And then I'll still have a week left. And if I do, I may have another hike with some friends that are up that way, yeah. yeah. Hopefully I'll be seeing you guys, all right? You guys take it easy, and I'll see you in July. I hope you like the music.